The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. We are moving towards four big cities in Australia. Sydney and Melbourne going to eight million, Brisbane and Perth to five million. These are big cities on any global scale. And we're not used to big cities in Australia. So how do we plan for it? How do we adapt? How do we manage this kind of city? That's what our project's all about. So what, how do we understand how cities work? For that, we need really good information on the um, data that's available so we can do some scenarios. And so that goes right down to what types of software you use, how you have data in terms of how you manage data. Um, so, are, are there, so do we need protocols in terms of how we manage the data? And then what are the visualisation tools? Because at the end of the day, this is about sharing information with people. And of course, this is about open source. There are multiple planning tools and there's a lot of confusion out there as to which one is the best to use. Um, so we'd like to be involved in the conversation, helping shape what tool is the best and which is the best to move forward. Um, and that really helps to keep Oricon on that front edge of the development. One of the key recommendations that we have from this research is being able to unlock the power of the digital data sets that we have for our cities and create digital data lakes. So vast arrays of big data that capture various dimensions of our city, whether they be social, economic, environmental, physical dimensions, and making that rich data available to urban modelers and urban scientists, and then being able to empower us to create robust models. We really need to increase the amount of data that is coming from the um, uh, system, if you like, uh, to, to enable a digital platform on which we can enhance our modeling tools. The ability to use these tools has to be open to more people. Within government agencies, for example, there's a lot of proprietary tools that are either very expensive or else they stand alone tools that require quite high levels of um, training to use. And currently some of the open source tools are the same as well. So if there's a tool that can be used across the board and that is it just using an Australian context between the states, between the levels of government, and that people can then value add to that. Having access to open source data, which makes more data available to more people, this is effectively the democratization, digital democratization. It allows anybody to access this data. It's more transparent and also allows more data for a better quality outcome. The opportunity is there to create a digital platform that covers the whole of Australia and all of our cities can feed into that. So it's an exciting future, but we need to grasp it and provide for it.